welcome back to my channel this is day three of my face sketching tutorial and we are going to talk about nose sketching today so yeah without wasting any time let's get into the video please hear me out and watch me out till the end and don't skip me out so we are going to talk about nose sketching now while doing nose sketching you have to be uh, you know to keep in um, your mind everything uh, what is important and what is not so like I have written some points here one two three and four There are four points so first point is always focus on the shape of the nose now whenever you are making anybody's sketch like any person's sketch you probably think why am I not able to pull this up why am I why am I not able to you know make perfect nose the person had like the similar nose so it's all because we we don't focus on many things so i always recommend you all to focus on shapes and simple of the things the the more simpler it would be the more easier it would be for you to you know make hyper realistic sketches now here i am showing you like some examples like if you're going to make any nose so if the shape is like this or like that or like this like the three examples which i have done just draw the overall shape and then start you know making every parts inside of the, that shape so that you will know that you don't have to come out of that borderline now the second point is always remember light part now if i will make a sun or like the light wherever the light is coming on face so if it is coming like this side so we are not going to you know shadow it we are not going to darken that area of course we are going to lighten that area so nose is very typically um you can say difficult to make sometime because we think that we um have to you know lighten up uh, some areas and we have to darken some areas and there is not a definite thing that you have to do right so what you can do is like i have written here also if i you're making an eye it is definite but in nose the lines are not definite the shadow we have to you know make a good nose with the help of shadows right so you have to make sure how to do that and all now there is third point always remember shading part so here comes the shading part the the second point third is like both similar uh, but you have to focus on both thing right then also keep in your mind the distance of nose depend on eye which i'll tell you in my full face sketching tutorial that is episode number or like day number seven now let's talk about nose sketching more and let's do that the main thing so here i am going to show you three types of nose uh, making now mostly there are two types in the world that everybody do and the third one is like i have made it up by myself for you know much convenience so here i am making the first and that is mostly used type which i do not prefer to do a lot because what happens we when we do this type of nose mostly uh, like sometimes we don't get perfect shape of nose because circles are circles if you don't know how much big circles you have to make and where have you where you have to place uh, three circles like in a way so that it can be you know similar to the person's nose you're not going to pull this up right and that is something i hate about this uh you know type of nose making but there are many people who love this type and i am not telling you to stop what you're doing whatever feels comfortable for you just do that it's just that it doesn't work out for me so i just don't do that but sometimes i do because it's a fun so here you can see what i am doing just see the process i have made three circles then i have made some small circles inside like the the whole part the the blackish area then i am you know just uh doing some like border so that it can get give 
you know you can get a perfect shape because we don't draw lines in nose as i said you before there is no definite line as eyes have here we have to show everything with the help of pencil shading the darker the shadow would be the darker pencil you will use for shading now slowly and steadily i'm just doing this and just see the process whatever i'm just doing okay and like this is something that i love about nose like while sketching you kind of love it if you love art you kind of love just spending your time while sketching and shading a lot of things with the help of pencil and nose is something that is very typical that's not very easy you know eyes if if you get command on eyes nothing i feel nothing is difficult other than eyes if you get command on that but after eyes nose is very difficult you know lip is something that you all can make it's easy to make the shadow part is also easy in lip right but nose you have to make sure that when you're making nose all the shadow should be right after that you have to also make sure the shadow sometimes starts from nose and it goes to our cheek areas uh taking you know under eye areas also and sometime like um, these dark circles been shown by pencil shading and then on cheek uh, cheek sorry uh, when we go towards cheek side there is um you know shadow th that shows a blusher or highlighter so like as a normal person what would you use normally we just show in a, in gray shading with the help of pencil right so yeah that is something is very difficult to do sometime so i'll tell you everything about it later now let's talk about two more types so here first one is like uh what i'm doing like not first it's the second type and this is also something that many people know we have to make a triangle like thing like a diamond like thing and depend on the depend it depend on the shape of the person's nose right and then you have to do the same process that we had did before the the thing is that in both of these process the definite shading is something that you cannot get used to like you can uh you, you cannot know how much you have to shade the side areas um if you have to make it more like thinner you have to shade it less and if you have to make it like a broad nose you have to shade more to show it's like a broad nose the same nose can look too too much different because of shading right so that is something that maybe most of the people in world struggle with and these are very important points you have to note it it down in your diary or something that is so easy you know these small mistakes or like small things just make difference so much difference and that's why i'm telling you because i have made these mistakes a lot of time and i still struggle with some of these mistakes that i do and sometimes i just don't know what to do and what not and whatever i've learned so far i'm just giving you the knowledge you know i'm not perfect you can just get more knowledge from other people it's just that whatever i have got knowledge through the experiments that i did by myself while sketching painting and all i'm just giving you those things like what are the things i think that is okay right now i can just explain you every single detail of it and all the mistakes that i did so you cannot do the same thing so that's why here comes a third thing maybe maybe many people might be doing this because i have not seen it anywhere on youtube so i just don't know if it is there or not because because in starting i i started learning by myself through books and all but sometime i have taken help of youtube and these two notes that i drawn before was like something i probably know before and i have also seen on youtube several times but like the third one which i am doing is something that 
I have haven't seen it anywhere. It's something that I have worked it for myself. So first of all, I have drawn this, you know, two lines, and that is something you can use in every case, like every case, right? Then we have to take that particular simple shape that I always say. Try to make your sketch simple. Always try to focus on simple things. The more simple it would be, the more beautiful it will get. Start with simple things and then add layers, add effects, add many more extra textures and make it the way it is. So here what happens if I just see all the shadow part and everything and draw the particular shape like it is, right? I'll get to know where my bond boundary lies and so that I will not spread or, or like I would not, um, you know, smudge it more. I would just stop there where line ends. And that will give natural effect also and also will, um, you know, be similar to the one I have seen on a, in a picture or somewhere. Like all the reference, whatever you use to make. You can just get idea while you make a simple shape of the person's nose. So this is something that is very important. Just try it. Try it as much as you can. I am saying... It's it's life changing game thing like thing because this is something that really works very good, right? Now here I have I have drawn some random sketches to show you different angles. You can draw any of uh, one of them and then you can shade it. I'm not shading it right now. I am just showing you some examples. So like this, you can draw as many as you can and practice it. And if you want more sketches to draw like some ideas or like something, I am on Telegram also. There is my channel, which is, you know, the link is in description box. You can go and check out it and you can join my channel. From 1 September, I'm going to give you some sketching um, tips. Also, I will send you some examples of different sketches you can just try it it would be easy so that you would not face something you know really difficult thing and it would be fun you can just communicate with each other on another group and you can chat with me also uh, on a personal level so yeah that's all for today's video if you really like my video make sure to like share and subscribe. Bye.